God is at work all around us. Have you seen him? Hi, welcome to Good News Reflections. I'm Lisa Stafford, so happy you could join us today. Here at the Lakes, we're reading through a chapter of scripture each day, and today's chapter is John chapter 5. I invite you to read the entire chapter, but for our time here together, we're going to focus on John 5, 17, and I'm reading this from a translation called the Amplified Version, and it sounds like this. But Jesus answered them, My Father has worked even until now. He has never ceased working. He is still working. And I too must be at divine work. So Dean and I went to the Grand Teton Mountains for vacation this summer, which is located in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And Jackson Hole, Wyoming is known for moose. Yes, moose. Right. I know my knowledge of moose can uh, be summed up or found out through the cartoon Rocky and Bullwinkle. So it was much to our surprise when we were walking in a city park and came face to face with a moose. He was about from here to the camera away from us. Big animal, big horns, pretty docile, just chewing on grass. And once we saw one moose in town or one moose in the mountains, our eyes were fixed. We could see and spot moose anywhere around town or along our mountain hiking. In our text for today, John, uh, Jesus has healed a blind, has healed a lame man, and he's healed him on the Sabbath. And this has got the Jewish population quite upset because the Sabbath was a time when you did no work at all. From sundown on Friday till sundown on Sunday, no work was to be done at all. And Jesus turns that whole idea upon, upon his head. He says, look, my father is chronically at work. He's been at work before. He's at work today. He will be working in the future. And I do what my father tells me to do. Indeed, even now, God's kingdom is constantly trying to break through into our ordinary, everyday rhythms of life. Indeed, the kingdom of God comes during those wonderful high moments, weddings, birthdays, new jobs. God's kingdom also breaks through in even those low moments, the death, unemployment, divorce. But God's kingdom breaks through in lots of little ways. I call those aha moments, things that make you look up from your everyday routine and go, oh, what was that? Indeed, God wants us to experience his kingdom. So God is still at work, as Jesus says, breaking through into our daily rhythms, giving us those aha moments. Have you seen him? The better question is, have you then come alongside of God to help work those aha moments into making them really kingdom adventures. Blessings on your day. Mm -hmm.